Okay, so uh, this is another quick video about Destiny's response. Now, I will make some points about the video, but it's nearly an hour long, so just to keep it short, what his most arguments is, is uh, basically, no, we shouldn't have, we should not build, we should not gap between the bridge of casual and competitive TF2. And, and I actually agree with that. It's better if both of them were to just be separated instead of just trying to bridge together. In fact, this is the, the very same thing Overwatch did. And guess what happened to it? Most of his players left, and, and most of the heroes that people used to like were nerfed to the ground. And do you know why? Because they were they were hierarching to 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 the very loud but yet minor minority of the TF2 competitive players. I mean, seriously. We should not be trying to gap the bridge between, I mean, we shouldn't, you know, uh, have TF2 casual and competitive close together because what is what is going to do is just going to make people wanting to win all the time, which is not the case. Not everybody wants to win. People just want to have a laid back, chill, relaxing, chaotic, uh, chaotic, uh, neutral. I mean, the chaotic of just playing TF2. I mean, even even if I do lose at TF2, I still have fun with it because I'm not trying to be a sweaty tryhard nearly every single match. I mean, for God's sakes, this is what Face It did. Face It tried to make this semi comp, and guess what happens? People do not like it because it was basically comp, but except a bit more casual. No. All we wanted is just to leave it how it is, Array 7. I don't care. I don't care about your opinion. I mean, I do not care about your statement that that TF2 should be competitive. It's going to survive. It's not. It's not going to survive if you just keep pushing the agenda of comp TF2. It should, should be at least the new thing if TF2 wants to survive. No, it's not going to be that. TF2 has survived a long time without comp. I'm, I know I'm basically repeating myself in the last video, but it's true mostly. Um, I mean, maybe at the beginning of TF2, it wasn't structured to be a competitive game, but now over the years, it's starting to like try to structure itself because of it, because of because of the vocal minority of TF2. It just wants to be like, hey, 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 Valve, Valve, can you just make this competitive? And Valve's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, here's, here, here's a competitive update. And now uh, we hate it. Oh, okay. And, and seriously, man, we should, we should not try to bridge the gaps. We should, I mean, we should just try to not make things competitive. Now, not everybody wants that. I mean, people, I mean, sure, you could just go to community servers, but again, not everybody wants to go to community servers. They just want to play vanilla TF2. And even if we were to ignore the bot and no update situation, it still mostly holds true. People still want to play vanilla TF2 while playing it casually. I mean, seriously. Seriously, Array 7, you should just uh, at least stop it with still trying to push the agenda TF2 must go competitive or at least try to or at least try to bridge between both of those. No, no, it should not. TF2 by design was was supposed to be not to be competitive. It was supposed to be just to be chaotic, fun game. I mean, for God's sakes, look at 2-4 uh, and High Tower. I mean, both of them are still the most played servers in, in Vanilla TF2. Do you know why? Because people want to play, you know, have fun, have a good time, have some wackiness to it, etc, etc, etc. And... <laughs> And we shouldn't just give competitive attention. I mean, sure. I mean, I mean, sure. Valve has given a uh, like some type of um, attention, where it's blog, front page, etc., etc., etc. But that's not. But we shouldn't just still pu push 
push, push, push Valve into making TF2 a heavily esports competition or anything like that. No, because for one, the the Com TF2 uh, has it, it's just straight up fucking boring. Okay, straight up fucking boring because it's six v six. Is usually contain the meta: two scouts, two soldiers, one demo, and one medic. And then for Highlander, it's uh, it's still not getting enough attention where it's supposed to be. Because to be honest, having nine classes versus nine classes, while still structured, still structured well, it's still it still looks more fun than you know six v six. And plus, nearly the maps are the same thing. Just five. Just you have to. Control the middle point and then the other point and then the other point and then you win. That's boring as fuck. Okay? And I've been in 6v6s myself and even I could tell it's like really boring as hell. Like having to do the same rollout, same everything, blah 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 blah. It makes me want to blow my goddamn brains out. Just we shouldn't <sighs> comp all around will just kill TF2. Okay, it's gonna kill TF2 if they still keep pushing the agenda. Okay, and plus, and what's worse, that if if Valve decides to listen to the competitive scene more, it's gonna make things worse. I mean, for God's sake, if people will want to just chill and relax and want to play as some f uh, funny fat scout, what are they gonna do? People will just start to yell at the new players or the people who just wanna have a fun casual time. Ooh, go to community service, blah, 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 blah. I mean, okay, that's a bit extreme, but still, you kinda see what I'm getting at? It's, <sighs> we should just leave, we should just leave TF2 how it is, okay? I'm tired of, I'm just straight up tired of people wanting only things to be more competitive more more exaggerated etc etc with the newer shooter genres while while mo while the people who don't want to play casually uh, just well well we still had to pick up the fucking pieces you know we had to try to make it fun and tf2 is still one of his uh you know lasting long legs of being casual being wanting to do well, you really want in the game, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Casuals it will be always fun, chaotic, and neutral. And Array 7, your opinion, well, well, it is your opinion, I still find it fucking retarded. It's just straight up retarded and dumb, okay? There's no way in hell if we were to bridge competitive and, t and casual together, it's gonna go well? No, it's not gonna go well. Fuck, I'm sick. All right, this is this is gonna be a little, the last uh, last response. Even oh fuck, I'm sick. Even though even though I'm pretty sure no one will at least watch most of this video because I'm just ranting at this point. So uh, good good evening or good night or whatever your time is. Uh, fuck.